So I want to do a video about uh, how to get consistent characters in VO3. So what I'm going to do is I'm here in Gemini. I'm going to generate an image of a character, and then I'm going to generate two uh, following images that use the same character. Gemini is great at that. I'm going to save all three of those out, use those as the first frame in VO3, generate three clips. Uh, then I'm going to take those three clips into Eleven Labs swap out the audio so I get consistent voices for the character, and then you can see what that looks like and how that process works. So uh, within this here, let's uh, create a wide screen image of an old British uh, wildlife show host. He is holding a small box. All right, so I'm expecting an old British guy holding a box. Let's see what happens. Generates pretty quick, so. Okay, I don't want any, any uh, text though. Uh, remove the text and make this widescreen. I don't know why it gave me a square image. Sometimes it just gives me the same image over and over. Okay, we removed the text at least. Okay, good enough. Uh, give me a close up of the man as he opens the box. No, it doesn't really look like you open the box. Uh, the box isn't open. I want it opened and him looking into it. Let's see. My apologies. Here's the image with the box open and the man looking into it. Okay, good enough. He's got a mic on him. Yeah, it's the same as that other image. Good, good. Uh, let's see, I want a large tentacle reaching out of the box up into the man's face. Um, let's see, do I want that? What would be funnier? Actually, I want a small elderly, frail, white chef coming out of the box. Move the camera even tighter with a slight overhead angle. So what's nice about this is you can reposition the camera. It'll give you good, uh, good results and consistent characters. So I'm going to use these as my first frames. Oh, there's my Photoshop. That's my thumbnail for my other project. Okay, good enough. That's not any closer, though. Uh, I want the camera closer and higher up. Probably close this Photoshop for now. All right, good enough. Let's grab these images. So I've got my first image here. Save image as, okay. Uh, first shot, start frame. This is gonna be second shot, start frame. Cool. And then third shot start frame okay good we got it all right so now oh, that's 11 labs let me go into um go three flow 
Here we go. Kill those. New project. All right. Um, now I'm going to bring in my first frame. So I'm going to go frames to video. I'm going to make sure I'm on VO3 fast. Uh, they actually just added portrait. That's new since yesterday, so that's cool. I don't have a video on that yet, but I'm working on it. Um, I'm bringing my first frame. Upload my first frame. Uh, that's going to be right here. First frame shot. Cool. Now, it's it's going to crop it weird because it was a square image and it wants a rectangle. Okay, so so this is what I'm going to do here. I'm going to make him say something, uh, but I want to make sure he has a British accent. Um, let's see. Camera pushes in slowly as the British host says with a British accent, I have this cool mystery box here. Let's see what's inside. All right. And I'll generate my other ones too while I'm doing this. So that was the first frame, second frame. Now that's going to cut off his face a little bit. Did I grab the wrong image for the second frame? I think I did. The British host says with a British accent. Sometimes if you mention it twice, it'll really drive home the fact that that's what you want. Sometimes it'll just do what it's going to do. OK, the British host says with a British accent, uh, OK. The box is now open. Let's see what is in here. Uh, the camera moves in tighter as the British host says that. Okay, cool. And then let's see, did that first bit finish yet? I usually do four up. I might violate our policies. Okay. I have this cool mystery box here. Let's see what's inside. I have this cool mystery box here. Let's see what's inside. I have this cool mystery box here. Let's see what's inside. All right. I'm going to save this one here. Save as. OK. Shot one, view three. With a capital H for no reason. OK. Uh, and I can generate my third shot as well. Um, third shot, here we go. The camera pushes in tight on the chef who says, who wants to cook a little food? He then laughs maniacally. Did I spell that right? Maniacally? Yeah, I think so. All right, so this is the second shot here. Okay, the box is now open. Let's see what is in here. Okay, the box is now open. Let's see what <laughs> is in here. It first, but okay. Okay, the box is now open. Let's see what is in here. Okay. The box is now open. Let's see what is in here. OK, I'm going to save this as shot two. Shot two, cool. 
um, and then shot three is just the chef. Now, it gave me a similar voice for both of those, so I mean, maybe I would want to keep that, but for the sake of this video, I'm going to change his voice. Let me just get my third shot here. I'm probably not going to change the audio on this third shot. Or maybe I will, just to do it. wants to cook a little food. <laughs> like a little animated character looks like there. Who wants to cook a little food? <laughs> it's a little creepy. Who wants to cook a little food? <laughs> That's very creepy. Uh, I don't really like any of this, I don't think. <laughs> no, I don't like those. Let me reuse the prompt here. Uh, keep the chef looking like a real person. The man holding the box should try and close it with no success. Let's see what this does. I don't know what it's going to do. So I got my first shot, which is this. I have this cool mystery box here. Let's see what's inside. Okay, and then my second shot. Okay, the box is now open. Let's see what is in here. Now the reason I prompted it with the accent is because I'm going to swap it for a voice that has an accent. So uh, although it is going to do a one-to-one -one match, if you don't generate it with the accent that you're trying to swap to, and then you swap the voice, it, it doesn't match up. It's a weird thing. Like so, it, it it'll ignore the accent when it on the Eleven Lab side um, if the accent is not present in the source video. Um, I can show you that right now. Actually, let me do the first video. Um, so I'm just going to grab shot one. I'm going to drag it in here, and I'm using this wildlife narrator. So here's what this sounds like. I have this cool mystery box here. Let's see what's inside. So I'm going to generate the speech, and it's going to use this wildlife narrator. This is one that I came up with for my... Um, my. I have this cool mystery box here. Let's see what's inside. Cool. So I'm going to download that. Any second now. Right, let me try this. Just download. I might have to reload 11 labs. You get stuck sometimes. Hello. Yeah, I'm doing too much. Let me go back to my video here. Oh, who wants to cook a little food? <laughs> I don't know what's going on there. Who wants to cook a little food? <laughs> Yikes. Who wants to cook a little food? Yeah. <laughs> who wants to cook a little food? <laughs> I'll keep that one. I probably won't change the audio on that one. It's going to be shot three. Cool. I don't need this anymore. Let me grab my shot one. I have this cool mystery box here. Let's see what's inside. OK, so I'm going to generate that speech with the wildlife narrator. thinking about it it's still thinking about it usually it's quicker than this
I have this cool mystery box here. Let's see what's inside. All right. I have this cool mystery box here. Let's see what's inside. All right, so I'm going to download this. I'm going to download this. Any second now. I don't know what the holdup is tonight with this. Things are going slow. Anyway, that's how you do it. I'll probably pause the video and I'll show you the result. Okay, so I've got my shots, uh, the audio regenerated, and I've saved it out um, in 11 Labs. I'm not sure what the holdup was with the save file, but uh, whatever, it's saved now. Um, this is what it sounded like originally. Okay, the box is now open. Let's see what is in here. And then this is the replacement. Okay, the box... No, it's not the replacement. This is the replacement here. Okay, the... Okay, I'm not sure why that's not playing correctly, but whatever, it doesn't matter. Because we've already got it over here in After Effects. So I've got uh, my shot one. I have this cool mystery box here. Let's see what's inside. Let me uh, replace the audio now. I'm gonna take this shot one replacement audio, drop it in here. I have this cool mystery box here. Let's see what's inside. And you wanna make sure you turn off the audio on the video clip. I have this cool mystery box here. Let's see what's inside. All right, so I'm going to go to the last frame here. Bring in shot two. Um, I want to make sure that I clip this shot one to get rid of that audio the extra bit there. Um, shot two replacement audio goes right here. Get to the end of that and I'll clip this as well. And then shot three, I'm not replacing the audio, so I'm just going to put that right there. Uh, and then I'm going to take this one, this one, and this one, and turn the audio off on all of those. Uh, transform this. Let me scale this up, 150. So it's full frame. Cool. Um, and then, oh, shot three, I, I don't need to turn the audio off on. Um, let's see. 23, 27. Composition settings, 23, 27. Okay, so this is what that looks like now. Oops. I have this cool mystery box here. Let's see what's inside. Okay, the box is now open. Let's see what is in here. Who wants to cook a little food? <laughs> there you go. I have this cool... So I'll put this together. I'll put it at the end of the clip here so you can kind of see it all together. Now, I, the transitions are terrible between shots, whatever. I just wanted to show you how to get consistent characters. Um, and then, you know, I would intercut this differently. I'd probably change the camera dramatically so it wasn't just tighter and tighter and tighter. Um, lots of things you can do. The main thing here was to show you how to get the voice out of VO3 into 11 labs, replace it, and then swap it in your editor. So I hope that helped. I hope that was exciting. And uh, look forward to see what you come up with. See ya. I have this cool mystery box here. Let's see what's inside. Okay, the box is now open. Let's see what is in here. <laughs> Who wants to cook a little food? <laughs>